Welcome! In front of me I have Xiaomi Redmi Watch 3 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. First you will need to turn on the watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the side button. Keep holding it until you see the uh, Mi logo on the screen. Once you see the logo you can release the button and wait until the watch turns on. After the watch turns on, you may see the list of languages on the screen. You can scroll through this list by swiping up and down on the screen. Now, find the language you would like to use on your watch and tap on it to select it. And once you select the language, tap on the check mark to confirm. And after you select the language, you will see the QR code on the screen of the watch. This means we need to download and install the uh, Mi Fitness application on our phone. So make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, open the Google Play Store. In the Play Store, tap on the search bar, type in Mi Fitness and tap on search. And you should see this application, application Mi Fitness by Xiaomi Wear. Uh, tap on the install button to download and install the application. And once the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open the app. In the app, tap on the start button, check the first box because it's required, and then tap on agree. You can also check the second box to enroll into um, user experience program if you want. I won't do that, so I'm just gonna tap on agree. Now we need to select the region. You can tap right here, scroll through the list, find the region you want to use, tap on it, and then tap on the next button to continue. After the region, you should see the health page of the app. Now tap on device icon to open the device page, tap on the add device, tap on sign in, and we need to log in into a me account. If you don't have an account, tap on create account right here. You can also use the sign in via SMS option if you want to. I already have an account, so I'm gonna tap right here, enter the email address and password. And then uh, we need to check the box at the bottom, right here. And finally, we can tap on sign in to log in. Uh, give me a second, I must have entered the password wrong. Okay, let's try again. And this time it worked. And after you log in, you will see the device page again. Here you can uh, agree to sync the workout and fitness data to new devices if you want. I'm gonna tap on cancel, tap on add device again. We need to agree to the permissions or allow the permissions. So tap on agree, allow the location permission and the app should detect your watch after a couple of seconds. Once it does, tap on the watch to select it tap on the check mark to confirm on your watch, tap on pair and connect on your phone, tap on pair. <laughs> and here, uh, tap on done, continue, go through the tutorial how to use the watch. Right here we can turn on the notifications, so basically if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch, you can uh, select one of the options, for example, uh, select notifications or sync all notifications and then tap on set. It will uh, uh, redirect you to a different menu and then you will need to allow required permissions for the notifications to work. If you don't want to use the notifications, you can tap on the dismiss button right here. Let's say we want to enable them, so let's select one of the options right here. Tap on set, tap on set. It will redirect you to the notification access. Here, find the Mi Fitness application on the list. Tap on it, tap on the switch, tap on allow, and then go back to the app. Here we can de uh, enable the incoming calls SMS. So basically, if you want to receive the notifications about calls on your watch, you need to check this box, tap on set, and allow required permissions. If you don't, if you don't want to use it, tap on dismiss. I'm gonna tap on set, tap on allow, allow the required permissions. And here we have the sync DND with phone. So basically you can sync the do not disturb mode status or status rather my bad 
uh, with your phone if you want to and you can tap on set to agree to it and allow the permissions or tap on dismiss to dismiss it. I'm gonna tap on set. And once you're done with the uh, notifications and permissions and stuff like that, you will see the watch appear on the device page and it also will say connected, which means that the devices are paired together. And that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.